welcome to vlogmas day four i can't quite believe i'm saying that but today i am going to show you the dressing room it's done i can't believe it i didn't want to show you last night because i wanted to show you in like the daylight but if you want to see how the gym and the drawing room looking then check out yesterday's vlog because i showed you those then but i really wanted to like savor this moment so i'm just putting some makeup on for the day i haven't been wearing makeup very often i mean i'm sure you've seen because i've literally been filming every day but i've actually missed putting it on and feeling put together and i mentioned in a previous vlog that i want to go through my everyday makeup with you so we'll definitely do that i need to do like a clear out but for now i am doing my very quick like i was gonna say it's not five minute makeup it's like 10 minute makeup even that i think is pretty good going I actually have some people coming to do bits to the house today, which always feels good to be productive and get things done, but also I kind of just want an empty house. Okay, I'm going to smash this out. Oh, I went a little hard on the blush. This is the Fenty Beauty. I use the shade Peony Dropper, Dropper? I don't know how you say that. But yeah, I went a little hard. I'm just gonna do some mascara and then I'm gonna do my hair. I literally think I'm just gonna do it half up and have a little, um, like just some bits around my face and then we're good. Okay, that's sufficient. I'm still not ready, but look what just came through the door and we have to try it on immediately. Also, do I do my hair like this? Or should I pull some bits out the front? I did it, oh, both of them came. Okay, so I have a party tomorrow that I'm like, not sure if I'm gonna go to. I really like to, but I have nothing to wear and it's just, you know, it's cold. My, my arthritis is playing up. I'm just feeling a bit like, you know. So I ordered these two red items because the dress code is red. And the only other red dress that I have is, well, I have like a summery one from Cult Guy that's lovely, but summer. I have the short Zara one that I wore last Christmas and I just don't feel amazing in that. So I got this cute little skirt from Ref, which I thought could be a cute option with a nice top and then i also got this red whiny color dress which i don't know what i think now i'm seeing it sorry there's so much backlight you can barely see me but let me put it on i mean it's a wine color not a red but in my head this is still red and i'm thinking i would do a pair of like sheer black tights some black shoes like you know that kind of thing okay well i'm gonna have to redo my hair anyway i think it's supposed to have like a cow neck and then I don't love it. I would have to belt it. What is it with Reformation dresses and being the strangest length? Okay, let me show you the mirror. The verdict is it needs a belt. I think I'm gonna put one on just so I can see what it looks like. This isn't cute. Like, it's just not cute. So let me go and find something to put around the waist because I kind of want it to be like an invisible belt. I found my black elastic that I use for this exact purpose. Let's see what it looks like. This could look atrocious and really, for a dress this expensive, I don't really want to have to be putting a piece of elastic around it for it to look nice. But I mean, I'm sure on some people this would look perfect as is, but we all know I love my dresses super short. I just I think it's far more flattering. I just don't think this is going to work. I think this is going to be too short now. I mean, it definitely looks better like this, but it's far too short. So let's try the skirt on. I'm trying to think what top I can wear. It's not going well, is it? <laughs> so it's kind of tricky to get to my tops right now, but this is what I managed to fish out. It is a Reformation top, but does it look weird? I mean, I really do like the skirt, but I just don't think it's a vibe. I mean, Maybe I need something long sleeved, but it's a party, it's not a daytime thing, so I shouldn't, I was gonna say something cute and knit, but that would look weird. I mean, it's tomorrow, so there's still time when this video goes live. Let me know what you think I should do. If not, I need to sort something else. I'm trying to think, there's definitely nothing else away in my wardrobe bags, but this skirt's really sweet. It's the same style, you know that black long silk skirt from Reformation, the black one that I love, I mean I might wear that today. This is like a similar thing, but obviously short, and they do it in so many different colors. This top is also gorgeous, but I've actually swapped tabs on this, I've never worn it. But yeah, I don't think this is a look. Okay, I'm gonna go finish getting ready. Just had a thought, what about this? The H&M cardigan, I mean I've only, by the way, so many of you told me after I posted that video, you're supposed to wear it the other way around. I just think it looks cute this way around. I haven't got the top bit done up, but just for the sake of humoring how it's supposed to be worn, let me flip it around and we'll see what it looks like. If not, I will do it up this way and we'll try it on this way properly. I just think it looks better with the bows at the back, but that's just me. Is it too much? 
I can't decide. I'm going to need some help. Let me get my hair down. I definitely would need to wear a bralette underneath, that's for sure. I would do it with a cute little pair of black heels. I don't think I'd wear tights in this instance because I think tights and then being able to see like skin, like my stomach is a bit strained. Whereas if I was covered all the way, I would probably wear tights. I mean, I could wear a black vest top under this or like some kind of like, you know, layer underneath and then wear tights. That might look quite cute. But I think this is actually the winner so far. Let me know what you think. But I would definitely do something with my hair keep it down and I actually do prefer the jacket in this instance the correct way around and not back to front although I don't know why they haven't styled it on the model online back to front because it does look really really good but yeah let me know which you prefer the dress or the skirt and which top with the skirt and if not either of the tops that I've tried on do you have any other suggestions I'm just so unprepared for the party season I mean to be fair I have a lot of kind of darker dresses but I just don't have any red and I don't know why oh my gosh well I just thought I may as well show you the full thing but I think it needs something strappier like I think I need a shoe with an ankle strap and I don't have them here, they're at home. But these are my Jonito Rossi's and I mean, they're a staple, they're brilliant, but I just think, I don't know, I think there's a bit much skin everywhere. I think I need to put something to cover this and I think I'd like it a lot more, but at the minute, it's the best that I've got. It's the best that I can do. So we may just have to roll with it. Luckily, I had the time and space to get everything tidied and sorted this morning. And today's the day we will be doing my returns that are sat there. They need to be done. But right now, I've got some flooring people here. So if you hear any banging, that's what it is. What I also need to do today is sort my fridge out because I thought my HelloFresh was coming today, but it's coming tomorrow. I was wrong. Oh, and then later we will have a sort through my Christmas decorations. I have a ton in the eaves in my bedroom. So hopefully I'll have everything I need. I've ordered one thing. So that's like my addition for the year. Although I don't have enough baubles to fill a tree. So I need to think about that. And I also think my Disney princess baubles are in my car. I just don't think I ever got them out the boot when I moved here. So I should actually get those. This room is a little chaotic because obviously I had to put so many things up here that were in my dressing room oh my goodness okay i think all the christmas things are to the right um oh i can see some things i don't know why i buried everything so deep in here because i literally moved in like two months ago i knew christmas was coming i'm gonna have to take the things out here are my garlands that will do for now Still need to get some bits out but i also am <laughs> and going to put the boxes back look at this these are my balsam hill garlands oh this is so exciting wow and then i have my tree which is from the white company this was one of my hey look mom i made it moments i always associate a pre-lit white company tree with just being like the bougiest thing and a couple years ago i got one for myself and yeah that was one of my look what i did mom <laughs> and i still have it and i'm not getting a real tree this year just because i feel like this is this is good for me you know this is this is good there are so many things that i have on my list that are you know you have those things that are just not like the most important or the most precious but they're they're like annoying and if you don't do them it just is frustrating and one of these for me is getting these stools passed on now i've got my new stools i mean i don't know where my allen key what well, that's a lie there's definitely an allen key right there but i'm like what else can i use so i don't have to get the allen key in reality i just need to get the allen key out okay used to do it there. This is one of those jobs that if I wasn't here alone, I would have pretended that I didn't know how to do so someone else would have helped me. But because I'm here alone, I don't have the privilege of being able to pretend that I'm incapable. So I just have to get on with it and do it. <laughs> Please tell me I'm not the only one that's like that. Like if my dad was here right now, I'd be stood watching going, oh, that's how you do it. I had no idea. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's one of those like pick your battle things. Easy. I mean, I did these up, I think. No, maybe I didn't. 
I was gonna say, I did these up, so I'm sure they'll be easy enough to undo, but I don't know if I did do them up, or maybe I just went back and tightened them. Oh my goodness, I'm so shocked. How did I do that? I didn't have a clue. <laughs> I would give myself a 10 out of 10 for this one. Also, I feel like the bananas are finally at the point where I can consider making some banana bread with them. Actually, they feel kind of perfect. They don't look ripe enough, but I think they'll be perfect. I'm gonna go and find the recipe. So let's pop the oven on. Okay, I don't know if I'm actually going to do this, but I have an idea. And obviously at my parents' house, I used to have the shelf above my bed and I would always put a garland on the shelf but i'm thinking i wonder if i can just lay this along the headboard or is this going to feel weird to sleep with oh but it looks so festive oh see i feel like if i fix it that would look so cute is it too much oh my gosh it looks adorable but i feel like if that fell down onto my head in the night i would freak I'm a fan, but I'm not enough of a fan to actually fix it to my bed and cause damage to my wall. But it was a nice thought. And I used to have the nicest shelf above my bed at my parents' house that this would just kind of lay on. And it was the easiest way to make the base look so festive. I mean, maybe I, I looked to get a shelf above here, like another, it was a railway uh, sleeper that I had actually. And I love, love the look of that. But it's just, then it's like, actually, I was going to say that it's commitment with like being central to the room but i've got my sconces so actually it's not any more of a commitment than them maybe i'll do that i've also realized that my disney rule walls weren't in the car they're actually in here um aren't they beautiful i am pretty sure yeah i had those in los angeles but aren't they beautiful maybe i didn't put a tree up last year that's probably what it was but no i definitely put a tree up last year actually why were they there that's weird, I don't know. Anyway, they're so beautiful and yes, they are going straight up. But what else do we have in here? I forgot. We have some oven mitts. These are William Sonoma. Oh, my stocking. My Love Shack Fancy stocking. Isn't this just so beautiful? Can't wait to hang that up. I need to get like a hook put up. We've got a little Christmas Mickey. And then, oh, little cupcake kit. The flooring guy has just left so I can take you upstairs and show you the dressing room. But... This is the drawing room, it's all clean. I took the floor coverings up, the floor's all been cleaned, it feels amazing. But obviously I still have my mirrors at the back there and I couldn't move those off the floor covering, so it's still, still there. But yeah, this room feels so good. It's so crazy. I actually am waiting on the date for my sofa delivery, so that I feel like that will all come together so quickly. I need to be don't really know. Where do you store paint cans? And are you supposed to keep paint cans? Because I thought they discolored over time, but then aren't you supposed to get like the same batch if you're going to like touch up? So I should keep them. I don't know. I need to like think about that. But for now, let me take you upstairs and show you the dressing room. If you want to see the drawing room and all of the things I got done in here and the gym, then go and check out yesterday's vlog. I showed you at the end of the vlog, but it was too dark to show you the dressing room. So that's what we're doing right now. But give this vlog a like if you're excited. Also give it a like if you're not excited, just give it a like, please. <laughs> the suspense, it's real. Basically the flooring guys came to fix not fixed it wasn't broken but it just needed some amending here so i just have to leave that on for a few hours and then all of this needs to come off it's so many like finishing things like that so welcome to my dressing room i am obsessed so this is like what you see when you walk in if i kind of pan around so i mean there's random things out there that need to find a home and be sorted but we have the door and then we have the wardrobe's here. I do need to get a door stop, which is why this is here for now, just so the handle doesn't hit the glass. I am also going to get fabric put in here so it isn't clear glass. I'm going to, I actually don't don't know what kind of fabric, but that I definitely am going to do that. And I can very easily take these out, as you can see. So I can literally just remove these panes and just have the fabric if I don't want the glass there, which I don't know. I think traditionally you wouldn't have the glass. So so I'll just see which looks better. But let me kind of show you around. So yeah, as you walk in, the first thing you really see is
is the island. This is something that I knew I wanted to do because otherwise where am I going to put everything? So it is double sided as you can see kind of depth wise. This is the other side and I think what I'm going to do is pick one side for kind of like clothing and I guess accessories and then the other side for my makeup and beauty products. I just don't know which side. Something's telling me I should do beauty products and makeup this side because if I'm doing my makeup then the natural light faces this way so I would have a mirror facing this way and therefore my beauty products in here I feel like that makes the most sense but I obviously don't need eight drawers of beauty products so maybe just like the top two drawers and then maybe another one for you know body products or like I don't know you know you need like wax strips and things like that that kind of thing but yeah I need like an underwear drawer a gym drawer for all of my like sports bras maybe we do like leggings in one and then above I'll do like the sports bras that that sounds exciting to me but yes that is the island and I'm so incredibly glad that I did that so I did get the wardrobes fitted on pretty much every wall apart from the chimney breast so there is no radiator in here I've got underfloor heating and I'm very glad that I decided to do that in the end but I just need to figure out what is going to go where because oh my goodness <laughs> Where do you even start when you've got a space like this? So let me just kind of show you around. This is the first one. Now this cupboard is actually shaped around the chimney breast, as you can see. This is double hanging with nothing at the bottom. Something's telling me I should use this for coats. I don't know why, because surely coats should go near the door, but because it's on its own, I'm like, ooh, maybe this is the coat cupboard? I don't know. But this is the first one. And then I need to find something to put in the fireplace. I'm either going to get a nice kind of like surround or something like that and make it really beautiful with a mirror above it or I mean I could even put a full length mirror here and just cover it up before I had my boots in there which look quite cute but you know many options many options and then we come round to this section on this wall and this one here is a corner unit so I actually got to pick which door I open because you have to open one first and then the second one opens with the kind of bit I'll show you but I picked the left to open first because I am a left-handed girly and then this comes out with the centerpiece. So I have my long hanging here with space for shoes at the bottom and then there is storage at the top and then this is a shorter hanging. Well not shorter, it's obviously still full length but you know a shorter pole and I guess this is where I'm going to keep a ton of my, well, maybe I'll do long coats here actually and then have event dresses and just things that I don't necessarily need access to all the time but I just know this is going to be so handy. This will swallow everything. I'm so, so happy. I mean, maybe I could even find space in here for suitcases. Maybe, yes. I could just do like half hanging here and then have the suitcases down there. I don't know. But yeah, this is the corner piece and I'm so happy that I went for this. Honestly, I can't even tell you how over the moon I am. And then we have this section here and this is where things start to get a little more exciting because we have space at the top half hanging and then we have some drawers and the top drawers have dividers which is so exciting i mean i could even use these kind of drawers for underwear and then i wouldn't need to put any kind of underwear in the island but something's telling me this is more of like underwear vibes this i think i'm going to use for accessories and then and then we have deeper drawers and i could really see these being used for loungewear or i, I don't even know i need to have a bit of a plan but if you are watching this and you have any initial kind of thoughts please do let me know because you know the more the merrier I feel like the more informed I am the better and then we just have another double hanging here but this is obviously just like a cupboard on its own I mean even this could be coats but I don't know why I want to put coats everywhere suddenly I do and then that brings us to the door. I have this space on the end here that I can definitely do something with. Do I know what? No. Like I, I could do some hooks and even like beautiful command hooks and then just have like the bag that I'm using at the moment there or something. And then we move around to behind the door. So in here we have a similar kind of setup of double hanging. So again, something's telling me coats go here, but I don't know. What do you think? What do I put in here? This is I guess where I want to put things that I don't necessarily access as often because I will probably leave the door open 
So maybe that can be where I put the things that I don't necessarily need quick access to all the time. I don't know. And then everything here is very balanced and very even. So either side of my shoe storage, we have my bag shelves. And there are many because obviously I have, you're okay, many bags. I love my bags. So this is just so exciting to me. So this is a bit of a feature point really. So we have bag shelves, bag shelves, shoe shelves. And yeah, there is no way I'm going to fill these. But you know what? It's nice to have room to grow. And it's just, oh, it's so exciting. I genuinely feel like the luckiest girl in the world. And then this is my shoe cupboard. Now this is exciting. So at the top, we just have some storage, which I mean, I'll probably use for boxes or something like that. But it gets exciting because these drawers pull out. Well, they're not even drawers, they're shelves, aren't they? So I'll be able to do multiple rows of shoes and be able to pull them out and see everything, which honestly just excites me so much. And I just feel like nobody needs this many shoes. So once these shelves are full, that is, you know, that's my limit. <laughs> that's where that's where we stop. And I, I don't think I even have enough shoes to fill this, let alone enough clothes to fill this room. But it's exciting. It's really for me, especially my accessories, they're a collection. So it's going to be really nice to have a place to display that collection and kind of, you know, give it the home it deserves because it's something that I really care about. So this was the bag cupboard. And then we have another shelved cupboard here, which I actually don't know what I'm going to put in here, but I do think this was really important to have and then at the bottom I have more drawers so even this could be underwear to be honest I mean but then someone's telling me they like these should be underwear drawers and then next down should be like I don't know maybe even this side should be like sports bras leggings other workout things and then this should be um I don't know like tops pajamas loungewear and then I think in the larger drawers like these I should put my like joggers and hoodies ah maybe we do like jogger and hoodie shelves here because they don't necessarily need to go into a drawer. Maybe that makes sense. But you know what? I, I have all of these choices to make and these lights are motion censored, which I thought was very, very cool. But yeah, that is my dressing room. I got in here last night, I told you in the vlog, and I was just dancing around and spinning around and jumping up and down because it genuinely just feels so surreal. Like I can't believe I've actually enabled this for myself. Even the house itself is ridiculous, but to have the house and a room in the house feel like, I don't know, I've managed to execute something exactly how I imagined it and how I dreamed of it. And I think seeing your dreams come to life is just a very, it's a very unnatural feeling. I don't know, I don't know what to think. But I'm so happy and I just feel like the luckiest girl in the whole entire world. I can't wait to fill this. But in true Emily style, it will take me a couple days because I want to make sure that I've got plenty of photos and plenty of videos. And then I will, of course, fill it with you and we will we'll do it together because that's one of the most perfect things actually about having it done this time of year and it being Vlogmas is I actually get to share it with you because this was initially booked in in like the first week of November. And then I was like, oh, as much as I want it super, super soon, I kind of want to be able to like share the whole thing with you. So that was one of the reasons I really wasn't that, that fussed about waiting because I've been in the house two months now and it's taken two months until there was a slot for me to have it fitted. And yeah, I was fine about it because I was like, ooh, this is starting to feel like vlogmas territory. So it kind of worked out, but I just feel like I can't believe this is, you know, I get to put my things in here. I'm gonna have somewhere to get ready, somewhere to chat to you in the mornings, somewhere to decompress, get unready, somewhere to prance on around with my friends. That was one of the big things that I really envisioned for this room was it being full of girls and all of us getting ready together, creating absolute havoc and definitely creating a huge mess. But that to me is just, that's like girl friendship, isn't it? And I, I can't wait. I'm also so happy with my flooring choice in here. I did herringbone in here and then I did straight plank literally everywhere else in the whole entire house. As well apart from bathrooms and I'm so glad I did the herringbone in here because it just really makes it feel that little bit different and that little bit more fun but yeah I am over the moon like I, I really was afraid that I wasn't going to love it or that maybe I would have made the wrong choices because it's such a big decision and like an expensive decision but I couldn't be more over the moon I think I'm gonna leave things as they are with kind of the glass in there for now uh, whilst I kind of hunt for some nice fabric and then I will have the fabric fitted but I don't know what color I'm going to go for. I can't do pink. I feel like everything in my house is pink. So maybe we do green, like maybe like a light linen kind of style striped green. I don't know. I really don't know. But I'm in no rush. I can tell you that much. <laughs> I can't even tell you. I keep just like 
like running up here and just walking around and being like, wow, how is this real? I think curly things have gone like a little bit crazy because I do just keep walking in here and opening it and being like, oh my goodness. I, I honestly, I'm not just like saying it when I say I do not know how I'm going to feel this. Like I don't know how. I mean, definitely thinking makeup. Wait, I need hair. Where am I gonna put my hair thing? That's a great question. Hey, I'm back from dinner and I'm so full. Like, I'm so full. I'm gonna have to go, well, I'm gonna walk Cody anyway, but I'm gonna have to go for a walk because I am so uncomfortably full. I had so much pizza. I can't even explain to you. It was so good, but that you know when you, you stop and you're like, okay, I think it's okay. And then you leave and you're like, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I feel a little bit sick, but I had a lovely evening, lovely dinner, and we are going to get the house sorted. I'm gonna go and walk him. Maybe I will walk him first because I need to get my food to go down. And then I'm going to bring the Christmas decorations down. I did wash before I went my Christmas PJs. These are Zara Home and they are just the nicest. And I have another actually pair of Zara Home Christmas PJs on that I just slipped on. And actually I shouldn't have done that because I'm gonna go for a walk. I'm going to have to get changed again, but it's fine. But yeah, I'm just having, just, just having a drink. <laughs> so I've just been doing some Googling for my fireplace. I am so torn what to do. I'm looking at something antique. It's really important to me that it's not brand new but there are so many different styles and obviously it's not like the biggest space in the world. With these terrace properties, there's probably, I think my architect said like three or four different layouts of sizes of the ones built when mine was built and mine's the smallest. So it's not like, I mean, in terms of this house, this room would have been like the grand room, but it's not like, you know, it's not like grand grand. It's like modestly grand. But yeah, I'm just trying to decide what to do here. But then I'm like, if I spend a lot of money on a beautiful fireplace and like mantelpiece, I am not going to want to put a TV above it. And if I do, is that going to ruin it? That's kind of what I'm trying to work through right now. I definitely do want a fireplace, but what I had in mind originally was an antique marble, arched fireplace. And I just think it's going to be too consuming in the room. So I don't think that's what I'm going to do. But then I'm like, okay, what what shall I do? Because yeah, I can't buy a beautiful fireplace and then put a TV above it. I just can't in any capacity. Whether it's a pretty TV or not, I, I can't do that. Maybe I need to go to some places and have a look at some. I think that might be the way forward because I just don't know. He's getting excited because he knows where we're going. Are you excited? You're my good boy, aren't you? Oh, go on then. Let's have one more look. I told you, I just keep coming in here and freaking out. Again, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with this fireplace. I think I have more of an idea with this one than the one downstairs because this is a little easier. Well, not even easier. It's not like everyone that walks in is going to see it. It's taking every ounce of my strength not to unpack everything in here right now. I don't even know if I'm going to have time before I go away. So we'll see. Honestly, I've got the most exciting like week coming up and then I don't even know my plans for the rest of the month. So I need to sit and have a plan. I have so many options and so many people being like, come here, do this, that I've just been a bit overwhelmed and gone, okay, I'll let you no, and then I've let nobody know. It's not good. Okay, I'm feeling a little less fragile now from dinner. <laughs> Oh, I feel like I always go into Italian restaurants with such good intentions and I'm like, yeah, I want to try everything. And then I just, I forget. But yeah, I am going to go and take my little boy for a walk. I'm going to meet one of my friends so I'm not walking solo. And then we're going to do a bit of a sort. Everything that I washed earlier is all ready and dry now. So we'll do some putting away. But like I said, I don't really want to put anything away in the dressing room yet because I want to <laughs> want to film it, okay? Let me do my thing. Let's see if he's in the mood. Cody, sit. Would you like to go for a walk? Would you like to go for a walk? Is that a yes? Is that a yes? Come on then, come on then. 
I've just made myself a peppermint tea. I need to remember to put them on the shopping list because this was the last one. So good. But I've just had a little tidy up in here as you can probably see. So all the decks are ready for me to take down tomorrow. And I'm going to do a little bit of skincare. In fact, let's do this from La Roche-Posay. My skin's definitely feeling the cold. You know when your skin just feels like it's battered by the cold and you get in and it just feels like dry and not even like sore. I don't have particularly sore skin, but I got in from my walk this evening and I was like, ooh, my skin does not feel the best. Although I actually find my skin is better when I have makeup on than when I don't wear makeup out and about, especially in this weather. Unless that is, I put something quite balmy on like this before I go out in the cold. But yeah, I tend to find actually my makeup is quite a good like layer of protection. But my friends, I'm going to love you and leave you. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already because tomorrow we are putting the Christmas decorations up. So thank you so much for watching today's vlog. If you made it all the way to the end, this is where you should give it a thumbs up and I will see you bright and early in the morning. Good night.